Hello, N4H&H &H here. A uh, quick, quick video, CW, so if you don't like CW, you can tune out, fine. Uh, comparing, again, the receiver in the IC7300 to an FT891 and a D, uh, FTDX 5000 MP. So, there's a station out there, QRP Soda Station. Love to chase those, because they really separate the men from the boys when it comes to receivers. So, let me let you listen. I'm using the uh, notch filter, my little trick here for knocking down some of the filtering. Filtering is really bad in the ICOM, so you really need to use that notch filter. You can't go so far that you knock out the side tone. FT891. Wait till he sends again. And I'm using the notch filter all, on all three rigs. Set it about uh, 80 hertz low on the Yesus because the Yesus display the frequency. Okay, let's let him come back and I'll switch to the Yesus. Five thousand. We'll let him come back and then I'll make the rounds. Using uh, preamp one on all three. Well, 891 only has one preamp. Which works fine. Width is at 50, DNR maxed out on the 891. Also, I haven't even kicked in APF. Audio peak filter. See the finishing touch that APF puts on it? When he sends again, I'll go back to it. Tell you, the little 891 is no slouch on CW. Waiting on him to come back. Oh, wow. Mm -mm -mm. Not a good sound. He's sending with. C E D C E T. Maybe he's just trying to create QRM. In the middle of my video. Wow. Now look at that. The filtering is so tight on the 5000. There's where he is. See, my 
my guy was at 020, but he's probably pushed him away now. Maybe I captured enough of it for you to see, though. Okay, so that's that's as tight as the 891 goes. Well, that's not bad. You can hear him, but let's see. Compared to the 5000, yeah, they're about neck and neck now. Now let's go to the uh, 7300. And the 7300 is as tight as she'll go. Definitely not the best for a CW contest because I'm still centered up on where that uh, soda operator was. And I've got the notch tightened up, but that's really just helping with the uh, that's just helping with the uh, filter ring. I think the guy is finished now, but uh, so is my soda operator. Well, okay, uh, go back and rewind the beginning. You can hear, uh, uh, I think I caught everything, and uh, you can hear the difference between the two radios on that uh, weak soda station. SOTA, Summit's on the Air, for those of you who think I'm talking about uh, a Coca Cola. <laughs> SOTA, Summit's on the Air, usually QRP rigs. Um, Let's see. So, but you got to hear the difference, and it's, it's a matter of selectivity. Uh, that is a weak point on the 7300, but again, man, the 7300, you get a lot of radio for the money, and, uh, and it's very intuitive. So if you're a beginner in the hobby, uh, it is a good beginner radio. It really is. Believe it or not, the 891, okay, it doesn't have the bling, the beautiful screen and everything, but the 891 overall... Um, has a little better receiver and it's not a SDR it's a super heterodyne it's a smaller package like you've seen in my other videos it's it's great for mobile great for uh, backpacking that's what I use this one for um, and then I mean the beast down here you yeah backpack with that but the receiver on this thing is just in another class and I've really enjoyed this radio so, hey, thanks for watching. Thank you, Patreons, for helping keep the channel going. And uh, I will catch you uh, catch you all later on another video. Oh, and I should please, please, uh, if you will, subscribe, like the video. You'll then be notified when I shoot another one, upload another one. And, um, and again, thank you to the Patreons. If you would like to participate as a Patreon and help me with the... Uh, uh, keeping this uh, channel going, that's uh, www.patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N.com slash N4-H-N-H. Okay, 73, have a great day. Bye-bye.